The Venerable Ma Seda A Biographical Sketch The Venerable Ma Seda was born in the year 1904 at Sikhun, a large prosperous and charming village lying about seven miles to the west of the historic Shwebo town in Upper Burma. His parents, peasant proprietors by occupation, were Yu Kinta and Da Oak. At the age of six he was sent to receive his early monastic adduction under Yu Daika, presiding monk of Pianmana Monastery at Sikhun. Six years later, he was initiated into the monastic order as a novice, Smara, under the same teacher and given the name of Shin Sobhana, which means auspicious. The name befitted his courageous features and his dignified behavior. He was a bright pupil, making remarkably quick progress in his scriptural studies. When Yu Daika left the order, Shin Sobhana continued his studies under Seda Yu Parama of Thugyi Kiang Monastery, Injian Ta Take. At the age of 19 he had to decide whether to continue in the order and devote the rest of his life to the service of the Buddha Sana or to return to lay life. Shin Sobhana knew where his heart lay and unhesitatingly chose the first course. He was ordained as a bhikkhu on 26 November 1923. Sumit Seda Ashin Nimala acting as his preceptor. Within four years Venerable Sopana passed all three grades of the Pi scriptural examinations conducted by the government. Venerable Sopana next went to the city of Mandalay, noted for its preeminence in Buddhist learning, to pursue advanced study of the scriptures under Seda's well known for their learning. His stay at Kinmakan West Monastery for this purpose was, however, cut short after little more than a year when he was called to Mulmain. The head of the Take Kiang Monastery in Tongwingal, who came from the same village as Venerable Sopana, wanted him to assist with the teaching of his pupils. While teaching at Tongwingal, Venerable Sopana went on with his own studies of the scriptures, being especially interested in the Ma Satipana Sutta. His deepening interest in the Satipana method of Vipassan meditation took him next to neighboring Thaten where the well-known Ming Unjetavan Seda was teaching it. Under the Ming Unjetavan Seda's instruction, Venerable Sopana took up intensive practice of Vipassan meditation. Within four months he had such good results that he could teach it properly to his first three disciples at Sikhun while he was on a visit there in 1938. After his return from Thaten to Tongwingal, owing to the grave illness and subsequent death of the aged Take Kiang Seda, to resume his teaching work and to take charge of the monastery, Venerable Sopana sat for and passed with distinction the government-held Damkarya, teacher of the Dhamma, examination in June 1941. On the eve of the Japanese invasion of Burma, Venerable Sopana had to leave Tongwingal and return to his native Sikhun. This was a welcome opportunity for him to devote himself wholeheartedly to his own practice of Satipana Vipassan meditation and to teaching it to a growing number of disciples. The Ma's Monastery at Sikhun whence he became known as Ma Seda, fortunately remained free from the horror and disruption of war. During this period the Seda's disciples prevailed upon him to write the Manual of Vipassan Meditation, an authoritative and comprehensive work expounding both the doctrinal and practical aspects of Satipana meditation. It was not long before the Ma Seda's reputation as a skilled meditation teacher had spread throughout the Shwebo Saga Ng region and came to the attention of a devout and wealthy Buddhist. Sir Yuthwin. Yuthwin wanted to promote the Buddha Sana by setting up a meditation center directed by a teacher of proven virtue and ability. After listening to a discourse on Vipassan given by the Seda and observing his serene and noble demeanor, Sir Yuthwin had no difficulty in deciding that the Ma Seda was the meditation teacher he had been looking for. On 13 November 1947, the Buddhasana Nagaha Association was founded at Rangoon with Sir Yuthwin as its first president, and with scriptural learning and the practice of the Dhamma as its object. Sir Yuthwin donated to the association a plot of land in Hermitage Road, Rangoon, measuring over five acres, for the erection of the proposed meditation center. In 1978, the center occupied an area of 19.6 acres, on which a vast complex of buildings and other structures had been built. Sir Yuthwin told the association that he had found a reliable meditation teacher and proposed that the then Prime Minister of Burma invite Ma Seda to the center. After the Second World War, the Seda alternated his residence between his native Sikhun and Tongwingal in Mulmain. Meanwhile, Burma had regained independence on January 4, 1948. 
In May 1949, during one of his sojourns at Sikhun, the Seda completed a new Nisaya translation of the Masatapana Sutta. This work excels the average Nisaya translation of this Sutta, which is very important for those who wish to practice Vipassan meditation but need guidance. In November of that year, on the personal invitation of the then Prime Minister, Yunu, Ma Seda came down from Shwebo and Saga Ng to the Sana Yainith, Meditation Center, at Rangoon, accompanied by two senior Sedas. Thus began Ma Seda's guardianship of the Sana Yainith at Rangoon. On December 4, 1949 Ma Seda personally instructed the very first batch of 25 meditators in the practice of Vipassan. As the meditators grew in numbers, it became too demanding for the Seda to give the entire initiation talk to all the meditators. From July 1951 the tape-recorded talk was played for each new batch of meditators with a brief introduction by the Seda. Within a few years of the establishment of the Sana Yainith at Rangoon, similar meditation centers were inaugurated in many parts of the country with Ma's trained members of the Saga as meditation teachers. These centers were not confined to Burma alone but extended to neighboring Theravda countries like Thailand and Sri Lanka. There were also a few centers in Cambodia and India. According to a 1972 census, the total number of meditators trained at all these centers, both in Burma and abroad, had exceeded 700,000. In recognition of his distinguished scholarship and spiritual attainments, Ma Seda was honored in 1952 by the then President, Prime Minister, of the Union of Burma with the prestigious title of Agamahapeta, the Exalted Wise One. Soon after attaining independence, the government of Burma began plans to hold a sixth Buddhist council, Sajian, in Burma, with four other Theravda Buddhist countries, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos, participating. For this purpose the government dispatched a mission to Thailand and Cambodia, composed of Nanjian Seda, Ma Seda, and two laymen. The mission discussed the plan with the primates of the Buddhist Saga of those two countries. At the historic Sixth Buddhist Council, which was inaugurated with every pomp and ceremony on May 17, 1954, Ma Seda played an eminent role, undertaking the exacting and onerous tasks of Asna, final editor, and Pukaka, questioner. A unique feature of this council was the editing of the commentaries, Ahakath, and sub-commentaries, K.A. with Macron, as well as the canonical texts. In the editing of this comment aerial literature, Ma Seda was responsible for making a critical analysis, sound interpretation, and skillful reconciliation of several crucial and divergent passages. A significant result of the Sixth Buddhist Council was the revival of interest in Theravda Buddhism among Mahina Buddhists. In 1955, while the council was in progress, Twelve Japanese monks and a Japanese laywoman arrived in Burma to study Theravda Buddhism. The monks were initiated into the Theravda Buddhist Saga as novices while the laywoman was made a Buddhist nun. Then, in July 1957, at the instance of the Buddhist Association of Moji, the Buddha Sana Council of Burma sent a Theravda Buddhist mission to Japan. Ma Seda was one of the leading representatives of the Burmese Saga in that mission. Also in 1957, Ma Seda undertook the task of writing an introduction in Pi to the Visuddhimagga Ahakath, to refute certain misstatements about its famous author, Venerable Buddhaghosa. The Seda completed this difficult task in 1960, his work bearing every mark of distinctive learning and depth of understanding. By then the Seda had also completed two volumes, out of four, of his Burmese translation of this famous commentary and classic work on Buddhist meditation. At the request of the government of Sri Lanka, a special mission headed by Seda U. Sujata, an eminent deputy of Ma Seda, went there in July 1955 to promote Satipana meditation. The mission stayed in Sri Lanka for over a year doing admirable work, setting up 12 permanent and 17 temporary meditation centers. Following the completion of a meditation center on a site granted by the Sri Lankan government, a larger mission led by Ma Seda left Burma for Sri Lanka on January 6, 1959, via India. The mission was in India for about three weeks, during which its members visited several holy places associated with the life and work of Lord Buddha. 
They also gave religious talks on suitable occasions and had interviews with Prime Minister Sri Jawaharlal Nehru, President of India Dr. Rajendra Prasad and Vice President Drive S. Radhakrishnan. A notable feature of the visit was the warm welcome received from members of the depressed classes, who had embraced Buddhism under the guidance of their late leader Dr. Ambedkar. The mission flew from Madras to Sri Lanka on January 29, 1959 and arrived at Colombo on the same day. On Sunday, February 1, at the opening ceremony of the meditation center named Bhitvan Mahihana, Maz Seda delivered an address in Pai after Prime Minister Bandaranyak and some others had spoken. The members of the mission next went on an extended tour of the island, visiting several meditation centers where Maz Seda gave discourses on Vipassan meditation. They also worshipped at famous sites of Buddhist pilgrimage like Palinruwa, Anurdapura, and Kandy. This historic visit of the Burmese mission under the inspiring leadership of Maz Seda was symbolic of the ancient and close ties of friendship between these two Theravda Buddhist countries. Its benefit to the Buddhist movement in Sri Lanka was a revival of interest in meditation, which seemed to have declined. In February 1954, a visitor to the Sana Yainith might have noticed a young Chinese man practicing Vipassan meditation. The meditator in question was a Buddhist teacher from Indonesia by the name of Bungan who had become interested in Vipassan meditation. Under the guidance of Maz Seda and Seda Unatara, Mr. Bungan made such excellent progress that in little more than a month Maz Seda gave him a detailed talk on the progress of insight. Later he was ordained a bhikkhu and named Venerable Janarakita, with Maz Seda as his preceptor. After he returned as a Buddhist monk to Indonesia, the Buddha Sana Council received a request to send a Burmese Buddhist monk to promote missionary work in Indonesia. It was decided that Maz Seda, as the preceptor and mentor of Ashin Janarakita, should go. With 13 other Theravda monks, Maz Seda undertook such primary missionary activities as consecrating smas, ordination boundaries, ordaining bhikkhus, initiating novices, and giving discourses, particularly talks on vipassan meditation. Considering these fruitful activities in promoting Buddhism in Indonesia and Sri Lanka, we might describe Maz Seda's missions to these countries as Dhammavijaya, Victory of the Dhamma, Journeys. As early as 1952, at the request of the Thai Minister for Saga Affairs, Maz Seda had sent Seda's U Sabha and U Indeva S.A. to Thailand for the promotion of Satipana Vipassan. Thanks to their efforts, Maz Seda's method gained wide acceptance in Thailand. By 1960, many meditation centers had been established and the number of Maz meditators exceeded a hundred thousand. It was characteristic of the Venerable Seda's disinterested and single-minded devotion to the cause of the Buddha Sana that, regardless of his advancing age and feeble health, he undertook three more missions to the West, Britain, Europe, and America, and to India and Nepal in the three years, 1979, 1980, and 1981 preceding his death. Abhidhaja Marahaguru Masayain Seda, who presided over the Saganyaka Executive Board at the Sixth Buddhist Council, urged Maz Seda to teach two commentaries to the Saga at Sana Yainith. Venerable Buddhagosas Visuddhimagga Ahakath and Venerable Dhammaplas Visuddhimagga Ma deal primarily with Buddhist meditation theory and practice, though they also offer useful explanations of important doctrinal points so they are vital for prospective meditation teachers. Maz Seda began teaching these two works on February 2, 1961, for one and a half or two hours daily. Based on the lecture notes taken by his pupils, the Seda started writing an essay a translation of the Visuddhimagama, completing it on February 4, 1966. This Nisaya was an exceptional achievement. The section on the different views held by other religions, Samayantara, was most exacting since the Seda had to familiarize himself with ancient Hindu philosophy and terminology by studying all available references, including works in Sanskrit and English. Up till now Maz Seda has to his credit 67 volumes of Burmese Buddhist literature. Space does not permit us to list them all here, but a complete up-to-date list of them is appended to the Seda's latest publication, namely, A Discourse on Sakipaha Sutta published in October 1978. At one time, 
Ma Seda was severely criticized in certain quarters for his advocacy of the allegedly unorthodox method of noting the rising and falling of the abdomen in vipassan meditation. It was mistakenly assumed that this method was an innovation of the Seda's, whereas the truth is that it had been approved several years before Ma Seda adopted it, by no less an authority than the Mlai, original, Ming Unjetavan Seda, and that it is in no way contrary to the Buddha's teaching on the subject. The reason for Ma Seda's preference for this method is that the average meditator finds it easier to note this manifestation of the element of motion, Vieto. It is not, however, imposed on all who come to practice at any of the Ma's meditation centers. One may, if one likes, practice Ent Nasati. Ma Seda himself refrained from joining issue with his critics on this point, but two learned Sedas brought out a book each in defense of the Seda's method thus enabling those who are interested in the controversy to judge for themselves. This controversy arose in Sri Lanka where some members of the Saga, inexperienced and unknowledgeable in practical meditation, publicly assailed Ma Seda's method in newspapers and journals. Since this criticism was voiced in the English language with worldwide coverage, silence could no longer be maintained and so Seda Unatara of Kabai, World Peace Pagoda Campus, forcefully responded to the criticisms in the pages of the Sri Lankan Buddhist periodical World Buddhism. Ma Seda's international reputation has attracted numerous visitors and meditators from abroad, some seeking enlightenment for their religious problems and others intent on practicing meditation under the Seda's personal guidance. Among the first meditators from abroad was former British Rear Admiral E. H. Shattuck who came on leave from Singapore and practiced meditation at the Santa Yainith in 1952. On his return to England he published a book entitled An Experiment in Mindfulness in which he related his experiences in generally appreciative terms. Another foreigner was Mr. Robert Duvaux, a French-born American from California. He came and practiced meditation at the center first as a lay meditator and later as a bhikkhu. He subsequently published a book in France about his experiences in the Satipana Vipassan method. Particular mention should be made of Anagrika Sri Munindra of Buddhage in India, who became a close disciple of Ma Seda, spending several years with the Seda learning the Buddhist scriptures and practicing Vipassan. Afterwards he directed an international meditation center at Buddhage where many people from the West came to practice meditation. Among these meditators was a young American, Joseph Goldstein, who has written a perceptive book on insight meditation titled The Experience of Insight. A Natural Unfolding Some of the Seda's works have been published abroad, such as the Satipana Vipassan Meditation and Practical Insight Meditation by the Unity Press, San Francisco, California, USA, and the Progress of Insight by the Buddhist Publication Society, Kandy, Sri Lanka. Selfless and able assistance was rendered by U.P.E. Thin, now deceased and Mayana Yutin in the Seda's dealings with his visitors and meditators from abroad and in the translation into English of some of Seda's discourses on Vipassan meditation. Both of them were accomplished meditators. The Venerable Ma Seda is profoundly revered by countless grateful disciples in Burma and abroad. Although it was the earnest wish of his devoted disciples that the Venerable Ma Seda might live for several more years and continue showering the blessings of the Buddha Dhamma on all those in search freedom and deliverance, the inexorable law of impermanence terminated, with tragic suddenness, his selfless and dedicated life on the 14th of August 1982. Like a true son of the Buddha, he lived valiantly, spreading the word of the Master throughout the world and helped many thousands and tens of thousands onto the path of enlightenment and deliverance. Yun Yin Yi, Ma's disciple and meditator, member of the Executive Committee Buddhasana Nagaha Association Yangon, Myanmar. October 18, 1978